The Oakville Film Festival is highlighting the work done by writer, director, and producer Wendy Hill Tote. Her newest film, Marlene, tells the true story of an ordinary housewife fighting for justice for her husband, Stephen Truscott, who at 14 was sentenced to hang for the yeah. murder of a classmate because he was the last to be seen with Lynn Harper. Wendy Hill Tote joins us this morning. Thanks so much. Good morning. Good morning. So many boomers are very familiar with the Stephen Truscott story, but not so the story of Marlene Truscott. Uh, who is she and how did you get drawn to it? Well, I think Marlene's an amazing woman who um, found out about his case when she was younger and got interested in the story and started to fight for him, believing he was innocent. And then after, um, after he was released from prison after 10 years, um, she met him again through Isabel Bayorti, who had written a book that got a lot of public attention on this story. And um, eventually they fell in love and got married. And, um, and, uh, but she couldn't let the case die, and she swore on her wedding day she was going to fight for her husband. So um, I got involved because a friend of mine, Louis Hobson, had written a play and taken it to... Um, to play it in Ontario, and it was seen, uh, Ryan Truscott had gone to see it. And um, he came back and he said to me, he met the Truscotts, and he found out Marlene's story, and he came back to me and he said, it's such a beautiful story, you have to make this into a movie. Yeah, that book you mentioned uh, that came out in the 60s, The Trial of Stephen Truscott, international bestseller, received a lot of traction, um, but not with the courts. And this went to the Supreme Court of Canada. What were the roadblocks that Marlene faced in getting uh, Stephen exonerated? I mean, I guess first dealing with the family, really, because they wanted to just put this story behind. Stephen had gone to, um, had gone to jail at 14 years old. And um, it, was, it was an incredibly horrific story for the entire family. And when he got out, they were just so happy to see him free. But for Marlene, he was never going to be free until his name was exonerated, until her husband was exonerated. So, um, you know, she had to put it off. I mean, first of all, they had to go under an assumed name. Mm -hmm. uh, they didn't want publicity. They couldn't speak about it. Uh, they had to hide. Her, Their family grew up being hidden. I mean, their father was a convicted murderer. And... Um, so they didn't tell the children and um, until one day when Marlene decided they ha couldn't tell a lie anymore to the kids. And she said, if you were old enough to be hung at 14, they're old enough to know who their father is. Was it difficult for Marlene to convince Stephen to come forward? Um, I mean, it's a great love story. And uh, he knew how determined she was. and. Um, I think his biggest worry probably was about his mother, um, not wanting to hurt her. Um, but Marlene was determined, and um, you know, she she um, for her own children as well. I mean, this was their father, mm -hmm. and um, she believed so so totally in justice and the truth, and she believed so strongly the truth had to come out that she just couldn't let go of this story. This story has fascinated so many Canadians and impacted so many. When you have a 14-year-old boy sentenced to hang, uh, this case actually responsible for abolishing the death penalty in Canada. Yes, it was largely responsible. I mean, I just think it was sh so shocking at the time. Mm -hmm. And I think yeah. everyone who had children could relate to it. I mean, Isabel right. herself had a 14-year-old. Yeah. Uh, now, this is screening at the Oakville Festival of uh, Film and Art. So when can we see Marlene and where? It's being released um, in October and November, and hopefully, well, we're all hopeful, on theaters. Okay, and we're proud to be a presenter, and we'll uh, put up the links for the uh, Oakville Annual Film Festival, again, the Film and Art Festival, uh, at chch.com. And Wendy Hill-Tote, thanks so much for sharing this story with us. Thank you.